Nobody else touched we his can't, own. We can't help it that you put him up very poorly and it fell off. So remember the public's answering? Better to do with your lives. Sir. <laughs> Did you touch this? Huh? Did you touch this? Touch what? This! What's your name? Fuck off is my name. Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Got you. Never like those guys. Or the police. Your body cam off so my camera stays on Crooked ass cops won't like this song Gotta film the police when they do something wrong I'ma film the police when they do something wrong Good morning America and citizens of the world I hope you're getting ready for America's celebration of its declaration of independence Through our founding fathers and soldiers Stacking bodies in the most dire of circumstances our founding fathers saw what the price of freedom is and sought through meticulous foresight and laborious study to establish our Bill of Rights so future generations would not have to shoulder that burden. 21 salutes to these glorious heroes and fathers of our nation. All right. Hello. Hey. Hey, how are you? Good, good. Yeah. So we got the Hayward Unified School District here. That school meeting. That's his job. Oh, he's over here. I'm just curious, why are you calling Michaels and not meeting him? Oh, nothing to do with us then. Because she kind of goes, but then we can go like this. You didn't do that? If I look back at my camera? Fine. Well, you said, when she said, it, when you said call for Michael, she looked at you and she said for them, and you went, I mean, I can't stop you from calling Michael. That just seems like a waste of resources if it's for us. If it's for you, I understand completely. Yeah, I have a post Maybe. that I'm working on. Gotcha. And what's your name? My name's Ruth. Ruth, appreciate it. Yeah, is one of your cards up here? No. Yeah. They don't give you a card? No. I gotta get you one. I gotta petition them to get you one. What are your guys' names? Let's see the information here. Let's see the information. Agenda. Let me get these cards here. Yeah. What, what was the guy's name there, Tom? Michael. Right. Yes. I wonder if that's I'm Michael, Michael Basie. Basie. Yeah, we didn't guys. call you. We told her we actually said that we didn't need your help, but they still wouldn't have got you. Well, I'm here. Mike, anyway, I see you already. So. Oh man, you got two broken arms. Uh, sprain, wrist, and a broken oh, arm. Jeez. Yeah. Thank you. No, we're good. We didn't need your help, but we don't. We don't want to waste or consume yeah. resources. We actually let her Ruth know that we don't need help. The other way, we don't need help. Okay. She said she needed your help, though, but I think she was calling you for us. Well, I'm her supervisor, and, you know, I sort of manage the front area, so gotcha. I think she just probably wanted so to understand what was going on. You said you called him because you needed help, so which one is it? I'm working on a project, so... So do I you need just help, or were you calling for us? I need help with my project. You're, I feel like you're not being forthcoming with me, ma'am. Yeah, why is he talking to us, huh? <laughs> yeah, he should, he should be helping you. with your project. What? I'm sure, I'm sure he can't write a project of his own with those broken hands, but... It assist you. Did we find anything for Liz? Which one are you talking about? Should I be able to do a plate? Like, how long do you think it's going to take? Yeah, I'm still trying to. Let me sign in here real quick, make sure I don't have any trouble, like guys. Right? Well, they, they want to get this stuff up to date. So Daniel is instructing us to bug this up. Okay. Right now. Okay, cool. I think that's, I think that's the right thing. Next thing, yeah, I'm not sure how to pay it, but 11. 25. Uh, timeout was put pending or not. So we are signed in. We are good to go. <laughs> so this area right over here looks like it's restricted too. Okay, so 
Oh, oh superintendent. Looks like party. Oh, looks like that guy. No, that's a, a meeting. We're having a meeting with all of our oh, stakeholders. Meeting. With our stakeholders, we're trying to, um, you know, we have we collaborate with all of our different collective bargaining groups, community members, etc. Um, when you say we, what's your role here? If you don't mind me asking. I'm the superintendent. Oh, I thought you were. I thought Michael was. Gotcha, gotcha. No, no, no. He's our public information officer. Amazing oh, okay. human being. Gotcha. But we yeah. collaborate, and so what we're doing is it's called site-based decision making. Okay. Um, so we bring in different stakeholders. We talk to each other when we're making decisions. We want to make sure we get input from everybody so that we can make sound decisions. And sometimes- Are any of these people that you're making those decisions with like random members of the public or the community or are they all like So we have other groups, or? we have other groups that do include community members, parents, et cetera. But they're not they're stakeholders, like, so for, to say? For this, for this particular oh. group, it's our collective bargaining groups. Stakeholders, staff right? staff members. They are stakeholders also, yes. Yeah. But uh, it wouldn't include community members in this. No kickbacks or anything going on back there behind doors. No, nah, no. Nah, the only kicking back. You look away when I said that. Like you're not sure. No, I've mm. got two cameras. The only okay. kicking well, back is in the summer when people are on vacation. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Do you have a business permit, any chance? I don't. Sorry, it's you know. Yeah. I'm fairly new. Oh, okay. this is my third month. This well, summer. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Appreciate it. Who yeah. are you guys with? I, I'm, yeah. I'm with uh, this guy right here, and he's here with me. Oh, okay. Just. Yeah. Members a couple of guys the public there, yeah. interested in the schools. Yeah, we're just checking it out, seeing uh, yeah. what you got to offer here. Um, of our first visit here. Okay. Um, we were just a little concerned, we'll be honest with you. Okay. Um, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but okay. Ruth over there, we came in, she asked if we needed help. She was very, you know, considerate. Yeah. Yeah. We explained to her we don't need any help. However, she asked another lady to go grab Michael. Uh -huh. We explained to Ruth that we don't need any assistance. And then she kind of, uh, how do you say, she wasn't forthcoming. She's like, well, I'm calling Michael because I need help. However, hold on, hold on. When when the lady asks, "Oh, is it for these guys?" and she kind of shook her head, "Yes." So the thing is, we, we don't want to waste resources. You know, this is you know, time is money, money's time. Right. You know, we don't want to see our taxes being consumed for someone who doesn't need help. Now, if we do need help, we'll be happy to approach Ruth and hey, you know what? Can you call Michael back over here? We have some questions. Right. You know, but you know, just for the future, maybe let her know to be a little more forthcoming with members of the public. So, so in all transparency, too. yeah. You have two guys walking in with cameras. Peacefully, peacefully though. Yeah. No, 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 I understand that. But two folks walking in with cameras, yes. I think she's trying to be supportive. Michael Basie is our public information uh, officer. Sure. So some, if a person has a camera and they're filming, you might, it's reasonable to expect you might want information. Yeah, but no, absolutely. I agree with you 100% so, so, what and you this said. this is our top expert that could give no. you that information. And I agree with you 100% what you said. Right. And however, we dispelled that with Ruth in the beginning from the get-go. We're like we don't need any help and when she started calling Michael we're like we don't need help from him now if we do need help from Michael mm -hmm. well, like I said we would approach her and, hey can you call Michael or someone that can answer questions okay. for us right. um, but we first wanted to take a look around see if there's any artwork on the walls right. you know it's kind of an older building you know we're just kind of curious yeah. about it you know yeah. um, you know so it'd just be nice if she was a little more forthcoming because like, like I said my big thing is when we first came in she she I don't know the lady's name she's walking by and she's like oh can you call Michael and then she said to Ruth, is that for those guys? And she shook her head yes. But then when I asked her, why are you calling Michael if you don't need him? It's like, oh no, it's for me. So I'm like, which is it? It can't be both. So Ruth- and Don't try to justify, just like, you no, know no, what, no, you're no, right, no, I'm gonna talk to her. I'm explain to you what, what, what goes on. So for Ruth, Ruth's role is to greet you. Absolutely. If you need help, try to guide- Which we answer her, we answer her though. Right, and, and if she perceives, honestly, in all communities, right? Yeah. Sometimes people know what to ask, they know who to ask and what to ask for, right? Sometimes it's helpful to give you the information, right? No, because absolutely. you may not know what to ask. Like, I'm All right, guys, I had to stop it right there because I had to you know, give you a little you info know, on what kind of information out. the superintendent, Jason Ryman, likes to push on people that they may think they don't need or know or whatever he was blabbering about. Uh, he got a $250,000 federal fund and he chose to use that money for a program called Woke Kindergarten. Now, this program, the leader has said that the United States has no right to exist. And this is in quotes. I believe every settler colony who has committed genocide against native peoples, against indigenous people, has no right to exist. 
You all the demons. You all are the villains. We've been trying to end you all. Get free of you all. And that is from the leader of this woke kindergarten program that he chose to bring into his school within his district in Hayward, California. $250,000. Now, tell me, is that is that the kind of stuff that we need pushed on our kids? On the people? And was it no surprise that after two years with the woke kindergarten program, the student scores were worse? Less than 12% of the students can read at their grade level, and under 4% are proficient in math. A 4% drop in both subjects in the last two years. Hayward Unified School District, Jason Ryman, said that woke kindergarten had board approval and apparently was more about boosting attendance and test scores. Think about that. That's not what our school system is about. It's about education. And this guy's just thinking about the dollar. Because the more seats, the more butts and seats, the more money that he could spend on his salary for him and his administration. And that's the bottom line. They usually have a lot of those folders out in the public in the lobby to, to review. Uh, but again, you don't have. It's all, it's and all you all said all. you don't have business cards. Michael, is there anything we can do to identify me? Because I don't have my business cards yet. I see we have fees, but if I could get something with all three of your names and your titles, you know, the superintendent, uh, public information, and then your reception. All right, folks. Now you may think it can't get any worse, but it does. There's a teacher within a school district who actually photoed, copied an anti-Semitic book and handed it out to the classroom. He hijacked the curriculum, the approved curriculum, to teach his own beliefs and what he felt should be taught. Parents complained and school officials were very slow to act. I'm pretty sure they finished, probably finished the, reading the whole book by the time they did anything about it. They have multiple projects we're working on, so. Well, hopefully, yeah, someday they get you that air conditioning in here. It's not bad. It's not bad now, but I imagine during the summer it can get pretty brutal. <laughs> I feel a little breeze, but it's not enough. If you're happy, that's all that counts. Exactly. You're the one's got to be here every day. Well, the public. Yeah. So, what what other areas? Since you are the public information uh, officer, right? Is that your title? Correct. And um, what other areas are open to the public here? Um, and is there in the second part? Is there anything worth seeing, like artwork or anything on the walls or any old school statues? Well, uh, statues. Sculptures. I mean, we are working on having this well, that room. And space um, and feature new artwork. So okay. that's always nice to see. We're in the middle of that project right now, so appreciate it. Perfect. Where's the Board of Education's office? Do you know? They don't have an office. I mean, no. Where do they meet at? They are members of the public who um, elected officials who come and meet. They meet in that room right there. That's the Board of Education meeting room. Right okay. There, but they don't have an office per se. Gotcha. Right. Is upstairs open to the public or is that just staff only? Only if you have a specific appointment with somebody. Gotcha. To, you know, like if you need to talk to somebody in HR or something like that. I do need to talk to somebody in HR actually. They were very cordial. They I didn't seem to freak out because I walked in there with a camera and said, How did that Hey guys, gentlemen, gentlemen. Not much to see over here. So, uh, information up there on the wall. Mm. Hey guys, yes, there was a sign restricted area. Yeah, not a lawful. That's just a request, though. Well, I'm requesting that you 
five at a time. Yeah, we're going to just respectfully decline at the moment. But we'll only be like five minutes, so we're not going to go in anyone if the door's locked or anything like that. We're just checking out like the walls, the artwork and stuff. You guys got everything hiding. Oof. All the departments, like if I need to go to one of these departments. They got these everywhere, like it's the law, guys. They do not want transparency in this building. Does it kind of smell right here? It smells yeah. weird. Sure. I don't know what you guys are doing, but it's very exciting. Yeah. Excellent. Wait, wait, hold on. Can you go like this? Yeah. All right, thumbnail. Perfect. Appreciate you. Thanks. Yeah. I have no idea what you're doing, but it's very exciting. Nice. I think I figured out. Oh, well, maybe this is the real thermostat, but the other one had 70 degrees. Set to 70 degrees. Got some more artwork on the wall over there. Notice, guys, he said he's requesting. He asked a key word. He didn't say he's demanding. And folks, this is the ADA restroom, so. Unless there's one out there in front, it has to be accessible to the public. Poof, smells like a dump. Well, I can't go up the stairs, guys. I'm gonna go back and try to use the elevator, see what they do. Well, that's the that's the meeting right there. This is Michael's office right here. Alright. So looks like the copy room here. These are for the public, aren't they? Yeah, but why else would you have I them? need to know why you're doing it, though. You don't need to know why. I mean, they're for the public. Okay. But it says restricted employees only. Yeah, but Michael knows, Michael knows we're back here. Okay, can you ask Michael to come in and tell him? Oh, no, that's not my job. You can call him, though. Can I uh, uh, grab one of those candies? They look delicious. Only if you tell me why you're videotaping that's me. It? That's oh, the only way we can get one. <laughs> for real? Come on out here and I can. Uh, Michael, Mr. Baisley. I'm going to get your name tag you get to real quick. Perfect. I think that's still my personal property, though. Well, what about this? Is that your name tag? Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't know why you're videotaping me. It's not your business card. Yeah. It's not a, so it's not my business to know why you're videotaping me. But what is the purpose of the business card? But this card? is right here. Author is personal only, word. and you're, you're walking through my yeah. door. That's just the law. I mean, as far as I know, the ADA restrooms are. Yeah, ADA restroom. Uh, you have to be able to allow equal access to an ADA restroom. American Disabilities Act. You guys can't be the only ones pooping in the ADA restroom. Why, why did they have an office there? I already went in there. They already greeted me. They were very nice. What What did he say? The staff in here was very nice. They already said hello to me. Why are you trying to uh, melt like a snowflake, sir? Oh, not Her this. Her door was wide open. She had business cards there. There's candy on the table, which I'm assuming is not just for her. It's to get out the people. <laughs> so this guy thinks we can't walk in a public office that's open that's not locked. Interesting. I don't know. 
So you're telling me we don't have a right to those business cards that, that we, the taxpayers, pay for? You're the public information officer. A member of the public's answering. Better to do with your lives. Sir, a member of the public's asking your help, which you get paid for, to do. Are you going to do your job or are you going to refuse to do your job? Sir, are those business cards not for members of the public? So this public information officer, when you ask him a question, he likes to insult you and say that you don't have anything better to do in your life. Yes. I guess everyone can not have a lot of great stuff to do, like lick those boots. Hello. Hi. Hold on, wait one second. Double, double. Perfect. <laughs> Appreciate you. What's that all about? <laughs> oh, just getting some pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Almost lunchtime though, right? So he's going around locking all the doors. Code three. There's a guy with a camera. Doesn't want to give out information to members of the public, even though he's a public information officer. We're going to be displaying his salary, his date of hire. We will be filing complaints. See, like this, guys. What's the point of having an authorized personnel only? Meaning you're not allowed beyond that point. And the door's closed. I mean, I, I don't know. It might be open, but it's locked. You see? Yeah. The other ones was just a sign. They, they like to put these signs everywhere to make sure that we don't walk around our building. So this is the back door. So I'm assuming people are allowed in here. Well, people are in public. Well, whether or not, so it's open to the, it is for members of the public. The business I'm conducting doesn't, doesn't require. Here, now let me hold your hand. Okay, here you go. Want to hold my hand? So let's just get hold of your hand. Because I have 6,000. So you want to hold my hand? Well, what are you doing? Are you? I don't swing that way. If that's what you had in mind. Oh! You want to hold my hand? What do you want to know? Are you even able to hold my hand? I don't think so. Well, I asked you before, are those business cards that taxpayers pay for for members of the public? And you didn't want to answer. You, you wanted to make a smart-ass remark and say, oh, and why did you make that smart-ass remark saying, oh, you don't have anything better to do with your life? Do you think that's very nice to insult somebody? You don't know what I'm going through in my life. Why would you insult me like that? Why would you insult me like that? Why would you insult me? So being a public information officer, how, who do I file a complaint on you to? Can you give me a, a complaint form, please? I like this complaint form. Complaint so form. Complaint form. On our website. I don't have access to the website right now. So, if I go to the so I'd like the complaint form. Right here. You go Sir, right here. no disrespect, but you're in the wrong line of work. You do not need to be working for the public. So we don't How come you were trying to grab my hand and then you are kind of misleading me? I don't know that way. You're disrupting their business, right? You're disrupting it by interacting with, intervening with me. I was sitting down peacefully minding my own business and you came and injected yourself into my video. And then when I asked you, a public information officer, a question, your only response was, you have nothing better to do with your life? Do you think that's a proper response to give to a member of the public, knowing that there's going to be thousands and thousands of people watching this throughout the Bay Area? Do you think that's wise? That's how people lose their jobs. And maybe you don't care about losing your job or your pension, but some people do. And if you don't want to work for members of the public, no one's forcing you. So Quit. Give your resignation. Give your two weeks. Are you done? But no, I'm not done. I'm very upset the way you treated me. I'm sorry to hear that. I have work. You're sorry to hear it, but you don't care. I have work that I need to. Well, do. why don't you get back to work? You're dismissed at this point. Going back. You're dismissed. Get back to work. I'll, I'll get out of your way. Don't this time. I do not give you permission to grab my hand. I'm so respectfully you know. asking you not to disrupt people's work business by going into their offices. If the office door is open, sir, I'm respectfully sir, asking you. Um, okay. And I'm respectfully so declining. we don't want it twice. They had candy on the desk. There was business cards where the door was open. It didn't say meeting in session. Yeah, like she wasn't talking to anyone. Smelt it. Are you telling me yeah, I don't um, have a right to, to sure, grab a business um, card? No, if I was lingering in there for 20, 30 minutes, that'd be different. But grabbing a business card and just end mm, up broke? Milky Way. You're dismissed. Back to work. We don't need you. I don't get anyone. Hmm. Mm. Take care. 
So whose offices are back here, if you don't mind me asking? Like, what? what's Business this? Services. Business services? Oh, okay, uh, thank you. Excellent. It So we have to go to the first too. Remember that's where they're like down there. We saw that little door that said you have to go through. Yeah. Is this third? Michael's right there. He's telling everybody. What floor is this? Third. So this is the personnel division, human resources. Senior admin. Um, hopefully we can come get some public Giselle, records yeah. on some of the staff members here. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Can I help you? Is this uh, out. human resources or is it that way? That way it's human resources. Okay, okay. what is this one? Well, this is part of it, yes. If we needed to oh, get yeah. some public Assistant records on one of the staff members, um, should we go it's here or should we go over there? You could come to me, yes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, but we do need it in writing. Yeah, so if you could write it down for me, that's actually the, the way the... There's a restricted personnel um, sign in the So front. you don't want me to fill out so my form then, is what you're saying? No, I'm not Are, you, re are you restricting I'm not public restricting records? anything. But so, there's a sign out there. Yeah, so if just, you have a seat, I could get my supervisor to come help you. Well, the super, I, need, I just need public records. Isn't that, yeah, what, isn't that your role here? It's not my role, but no? I could have her help you. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. Appreciate your help. Thank you. Do you guys want to take a seat? No. Oh, I'm good. My back hurts. Thank you. Hmm. So, uh, Giselle is going to go uh, grab a supervisor. Let's see. Gloria's is birthday space? is October 7th. We just, the sooner we can get the public records, we'll leave them. Okay. So, we got we Assistant Superintendent, Superintendent Kim Watts. And then, uh, he said that Michael was the public information officer. However, the information I needed is on Michael. So, I need someone that's above Michael. Yeah. I'm sorry. Can you not? Oh, my screen's locked. Let's just get the calendar real quick. So, so Gisela is gonna grab Kim for us. That's She's the one we would speak with regarding public records? Yes. Perfect, appreciate you. So that's good, they broke up their little conversation party. It's about 12 o'clock, you know. Well, now they stopped to serve the people. Well, appreciate the info. And can I get your name? Okay, yes, not. So, guys, we have about 4,000 people watching right now. Um, I'm going to leave a link to the phone number here if you guys want to call and voice your concerns uh, or emails. Um, the ladies under the impression are not allowed to get her uh, picture in public. Conference room. She works for the public with tax dollars. Um, all we need is some public information on the All right, folks, looks like Michael went around and uh, had everybody close their office doors. How about you? You feel well welcomed? Uh, not really. Don't feel really feel good about uh, public employees standing around chit-chatting. Three of them in one little office. So you start walking that way, that guy there? You went running that way? Yeah, that's all. 
<clears throat> and action. Go for it. Action. So we're on the first floor here. It's like the conference room. Alright guys, this is the first floor. Uh, kind of like a basement. Call the yeah, there's no window, so we have a lady coming here. Uh, she just kind of peeked out around the corner, then want to come to the door. But she was friendly, she smiled and waved. Oh, here's their offices right here, actually. See them back there. Professional development. Excellent. Data team, data manager, math and science. So you could hear them down there locking the door for the professional development office right there. And action. Okay. Very interesting story coming out. Shop in there. That is Miss Interesting over there. Just walk down the hallway. Little packages. Oh, the mail room. Now, this is what I like to see public employees doing work, not just standing around chatting, just doing what they need to be doing. So we got the print shop here, Lisa McKenna, Anisha, she said, what the F is this? And then she just said, have a nice effing day. Touch what? This! What's your name? Fuck off is my name. You have no right to touch anything in this building because it doesn't belong to you. Actually, Actually this is a public building, man. Actually, you're wrong. These are my personal decorations. Then take them home. Yeah. I don't have to. Take them home if you don't want people touching them. Nobody else touches we them. We can't help it that you put them up very poorly and it fell off. That's going to make a great thumbnail. Yeah. It's really not your house to uh, be putting your personal items all about here. Can I get your name and position here, ma'am? What is this for? Angel Mackie or Lisa? One or the other. What is One or the for? other. Can I see your name tag? That's for members of the public to see. Yep. That, you know, they issued you, so you could identify Should yourself to members. Tell me more. <laughs> well, we'd like to see, like to see your name tag. Talk to. Okay. Okay. You're dismissed. Back to work, ma'am. Go ahead. Carry on. Got the looky loos out here. Are you Ken by any chance? Are you Ken? I'm not. I should smell on the chair. Oh, yeah, everyone's fine. Yeah. She's not on the floor. Yeah, they said they were going to grab her, but they didn't grab her. This lady was cussing at us and flipping us off. Cussing and flipping us off. I'm so sorry. We'd like to do a public records request and find out who, who that staff is so we can make a complaint. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't have any information. I don't really know. I just think that's just the public information officer wasn't being very healthy either. He was telling us, asking us if we have anything better to do with our do lives. Wanna, I think Ruth can help direct you to where. So someone said I need to speak with Kim. I don't know if that who Kim is, but as far as filing, getting. If you want a form or something. Like I need that? a complaint form to file on him and the other lady in there. I just heard. Really, well, I don't want. I don't. I, I'm not going to have him process his own complaint. Okay. He'll find no wrongdoing. Uh, and you guys need anything else? Not from you, from this gentleman, though. No. What, what happened? I guess. Really down people's stuff? No, so what happened is that we were looking at the window there. The lady was being very rude with us. She was, uh, what do you call it, flipping us off, calling us names. She has her personal belongings. Let me show you real quick. This is what we're talking about. It'll make more sense. 
So as you can see, nothing's ripped off. We're very respectful of people's stuff. But this little piece of tape started to fall over. It's a little bit like that. She has it barely taped up there. She came out yelling and cussing, calling us names, flipping us off. We have it on camera, saying this is our, you know, no, nothing here belongs to us. It belongs to her. This is. And let me interject one it, second. So take it home. Before he got here, I was just passing by this doorway. She said, what the F is this about? And then she came and closed, basically slammed the door, then said, have a, at the same time while saying, have a she nice F and day. Door, but not, do it politely. Okay, so I should make a, a general point. One, we're all human beings. Right. Absolutely. Right? And when you go to work, if someone unexpectedly showed up to your workplace, you don't know who those uh, people are. Now you're just I, making I, excuses. I feel no, you're no, just, no, you're no, trying no, to no, make no, an excuse about that. Someone right. unexpectedly touched your personal belongings. Who knows how you might react, right? Let, let me so, just tell no, them, I don't work okay. in a public building. Okay. Maybe you misheard the narrative. I merely walked by the door, open door, didn't touch anything. She said, what the F is this about? Came marching over here and slammed the door and said, at the same time, she said, have a nice effing and day. This gentleman, I need to file a complaint on him. Let me just let you know what happened. So I was upstairs. One of the office doors were open. It wasn't closed. She didn't say in a meeting or anything. She wasn't speaking with anyone. However, this uh, person is right here. I simply grabbed the business card, mm -hmm. grabbed the candy which she had on the counter, and I basically left. I went to the lobby. I was sitting there resting my back. I have a bad back. Right. He came out very rudely, got in my face like, you cannot go into offices. And I asked him very clearly, well, you're the public information officer. You asked if I need help. I simply asked him, is this, are these business cards for members of the public? When I asked him that, do you want to know what his response was? Do you not have anything better to do with your life? That doesn't right. seem very, very friendly. Right. So right. I need a complaint form on him and the lady in here who's flipping us off. I, need I can direct you to where the complaints forms are. That's not are you not in charge, though? Can you file this complaint for us right now that you're here so we so, can leave? So a complaint form would mean that you are complaining. So yes. I would need the details from you and I would need to have some sort of documentation of what you're talking about, whether that means you write down the form. If you yourself, have an email that you can send, I can send you footage. I can give you my email address and you can tell me what your complaint is because I would need to know what your complaint is. It's not so, me complaining about Number that. one, my, my first. If I can finish up what I'm saying. My first complaint is this gentleman being unprofessional and this lady flipping us off and freaking out. Right. And so what I'm saying is absolutely I can give you the complaint form. If you prefer to email me, uh, we can absolutely give One thing if you want to see numbers. footage. If you want to send me footage, you can do that to support your complaint. Absolutely. But I couldn't complete the complaint form because I'm not filing a complaint. Well, you right? can start the process, though. You can take the complaint from a concerned citizen. So I can take your complaint, but if you're, you ask me for a complaint form, if you're trying to file a formal complaint, there is a process. Our board policies are available on our website if you want to check those as well. So you're telling me if a member of the public doesn't have access to the internet, they can't file a complaint? No, I already told you I'll give you a complaint form okay. if you prefer that. And are you telling me you're not allowed, you're not, it's against your policy to verbally take a complaint, being that you're the oh, main? I can absolutely do that. But there's and of course, a process to file a formal complaint. Absolutely, and I'm saying So I, those are different. So voicing your complaint, absolutely, we take that into, into hand. But you asked for specifically for oh, yeah. a complaint. And One question is, if do you have and someone I, available I, to write out the formal complaint? And, and I understand you guys have questions, but you do have to understand, speaking of, about... No, this pertains directly aspects. to the formal complaint. No, no, is I'm there gonna, someone available to write the complaint? What if someone is illiterate, unable to write or form out their words? If you would like to do that, I'll find someone to help you do that. Okay, excellent. But, but if I could finish, I do want to point out, you were talking about fiscal responsibility, right? So right now, you've got two public employees. We're both on the clock. We're talking to members of the public now. He, hear me out, right? However, we also have obligations to our students and our schools, right? And we're being pulled away from doing that work. More than happy to talk to you. More than happy if you want to file the complaint. If you're unable to write it, I can help you write it if that's what you're requesting. Or find someone who can help you write the complaint if that's let what you're asking. Let me ask you this. Without but, but you are, but, but to, let to me ask point. you this. Without pointing fingers, is yeah. it, would you consider it a violation of protocol or company it's employee policy mm -hmm. to flip members of the public off, give them the bird. I don't want to do this, you know, right. to be disrespectful. Give members of the bird. Would you also say it's proper etiquette as a public information officer who his sole job is to inform members of the public about questions or you know concerns they had when they asked something a question about a business card? That's why I asked him, and his response is. 
You don't have anything better to do with your life. He doesn't know what's going on with my life. What if someone just passed away? What if I'm having a bad day? Sure. That's very unprofessional. So if what you're asking for is... Do you um, believe that that's proper etiquette? That's my so question I, to you. So He also grabbed his hand. If you want, you he want held his hand. He grabbed his hand and started um, walking with his hand. I don't know hand. whether to respond to your question or let you finish because I, I, I want to respond to your question, but I'm... I know you wanted to speak. So. Uh, I just said made a statement. That was not a question. I no, said no, he, he also asked held me a his hand. question and you were speaking, okay. so I don't want to cut you off. Right. But I also want to respond to his question. Yeah, well, my friend, he talks kind of quite a bit. Sometimes I need to interject a little bit, you know? So go ahead. No, I'll let you finish. I want to uh, you. That was a, simply a statement. Michael grabbed my friend's hand here uh -huh. and started pulling on it and walking. He did it sarcastic, it's, but, sarcastically when I was trying to go into a public office to get some information. He's <laughs> like, would you like me to hold your hand? And literally put his hand out. I'll be fair. I did say I did put my hand out, but he touched me, put his hands on me. I don't roll that way. I'm married. So, so you asked me a question, and I, I want to respond to it. Perfect. So look at the condition. Not to put it, this person's medical. Oh, I know. That's why I was there. surprised. Looking at his medical condition, are you saying that he's trying to be physic? That this person is trying to be physically? I have aggressive? it on camera. Physical enough obviously, to grab someone's head. Obviously, I didn't say he pulled me. Condition. Sir, you're not listening. I didn't say he pulled me away. Right. But he did put his hand out, and he put his hand on it's my on hand. camera, man. <laughs> and he verbally said, would you like me to hold your hand? And he put his hand out. So I'm trying to respond. Is that very professional? So I'm trying to respond. He was insinuating like I'm a little kid. Yeah. Should I respond? Because each time I, I try to respond. Because I feel like yeah, you're just trying ahead. to, you're yeah. trying to uh, how do you say, candy coat it, pretend like there's no wrongdoing. You're not being very forthcoming. That's just the impression I got from you. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to have to file a complaint on you as well. That's true. You totally can't. I'm trying to be forthcoming. I'm not really getting an opportunity to respond to any of your questions. Each time I start speaking, you're cutting me off. But that's your right. I'm going to zip it. Go ahead. So the point that I'm trying to make is there's a process when you file a complaint. And we investigate. And I'm as objective oh, as I possibly can, right? and we investigate all matters thoroughly, which means I don't presuppose anything, wrongdoing or otherwise. What I do is I look at the information, I look at your uh, uh, complaint, if it's more uh, more valuable to bring in a third party to help with that, in some scenarios that's the case as well, right? As long as that third party is not a member of the actual organization where you're investigating No, that's yourself. what it means when I say a third party. Well, I've seen like, for example, I've seen like, for example, for police, and I'm not, and I'm not saying you, where that they'll hire an agency where the, the chief, for example, or the person in charge of that investigation is a former chief of the department he's investigating. No, no, no we don't do that. Gotcha. And those are very specific scenarios. Obviously, we can't yeah. afford to do that with you know every complaint. But there are specific scenarios where that happens. Let me well. ask you this. Being that you know you are in charge here, I, I haven't seen any security walking around. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have access to the cameras in this building? Or do you have to go through, like, is it like, because there's a camera right there is what, right. I, what I'm Trying to say that can uh, I would imagine so. I, I, so that sh you should you can actually watch. You won't be able to verbally hear. I'm imagining there's not a microphone since under wiretap mm -hmm. laws you have to post it. Right. But since the camera is visible though, that that's right. lawful in California. Right. So if you look at, you're going to see we're not sticking cameras in our faces. And we're not tearing stuff down. She's right. coming out here giving us the bird, yelling at right. us, screaming at us. So I would highly encourage right. at this point to to review that camera. And then if something's unclear, you're like, yeah, you know what? I just right. let me see another angle. Let me hear. I right. can send you an email with the verbal. So I do want to ask something that he was asking. Mm -hmm. and, and granted, you're not ob obligated to answer any of my questions. I'm not sure, is there something you're hoping to accomplish or information you would like or something? Uh, uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm, I'll I'm, answer I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. sure exactly what the, I'll answer because you. it is pulling me away from other no, words. I will answer so I so. just want to. When we first came in here, our intention was to simply walk around this public building, see what services in different departments you know, offer, get some business mm -hmm. cards, see if there's any artwork. We've never been here before. Just check out the building in general. We didn't need any services from any particular person or department mm -hmm. per se. However, once they start injecting themselves, being rude with us, you know, giving us the bird, getting three feet from my face or two feet from my face, trying to grab my hand, you know, saying that, you know, insulting me, saying, oh, we don't have anything better to do with our lives because we're simply taking pictures. Now we have, now my, the request that I need, the information I need is, uh, which I was told it was by, Kim, I don't know, she didn't say the last name, but Kim okay. in Human Resources, possibly. Okay. I need to get his information. I want to do a public records request on his date of hire, his salary, if he has any former documentation as far as write-ups or any of that, anything of that nature, as well as I need to make a complaint on him, on Michael, and the lady in here was giving us the finger, and I can't do that if I don't know who she is. 
Right. So I need her name or a business card or however you want to do it to keep her information safe. Her. Um, right there. I think she was wearing a purple. Well, There's two names. Uh, um, she's not the male name. Right. Uh, I think she, was she wearing a purple shirt? I don't remember. Purple hair. Purplish. I just wanted to confirm who it is so I can make a formal complaint yeah. on her. I would assume, I wasn't here, but I would assume it's the female. I just saw like three or four Well, you're assuming that people are able to differentiate which well, one's a female and a male. I didn't see the interaction, so, so that's which why. Which one is the female name? Well, Ashish is a male name. Leela? So, yeah. Okay, thank you for the education. So my question is, are you able, at this point, are you guys able to review the footage? I would assume so. And I, I, I haven't ever gone through the process of reviewing it. I mean, no, I not you said you were new, you, I understand. Right, right. Uh, you have to do your own research, your own due diligence. Right. My thing is though, and like I said, there's always two sides of every coin, you know, maybe I'm exacerbating right. a little bit, maybe she's exacerbating it a little bit. Right. But once you see that she's coming out, flipping us off, giving the bird, right. I would hope that you would do the right thing, you know, at your discretion, what you feel is adequate for the situation. Maybe right. we caught her off guard, maybe she was a little startled. Right. You know, she doesn't have to be fired per se. But there does need to be some type of action. You know, this can't be. It has to go on her record. It needs to be documented. So if this happens again, at this question. point, you're now going to be liable. If, if this happens again, you're on record, being told how these staff members are I acting under your guidance, under your leadership. I understand what you're saying. Now, to my point earlier, I do have a meeting that's going to start shortly. Um, I don't know if you have any other questions, thoughts, comments. Well, I just need to know, should I go back up to the third floor for Kim as far as public information for this gentleman? So you've got a few requests, so I can respond to those. Two of them. Ones. So public information well, regarding salary for him and the lady in here, as well as a complaint form for both of them. And I don't want, I want to make sure that he's not, how do you say, processing his own complaint. Well, he's, he doesn't play that role. I'm just, that's why I just want to make confirm. Yeah, yeah. And his, his role is to provide information to you. So, sure, I can take you up to the second floor. We can get you the form, and then in terms of your other requests, I can help for, for that information. For, uh, public records, if that's there's a procedure for filing public records. Request. Yeah, we can, we can verbally say it. We can write it down. You can hand us a FOIA request form. Um, mm -hmm. You guys have 10, 10 working days to respond. Whether they give it to us or not, that's a whole other issue. But we can request it. Sure. Okay. And, and obviously, under salary so transparency. Do, do you want to go get those materials that you're requesting? Yeah, well, I just want to get a few more shots, and just we'll be on our way. So I have to. I have another appointment. Hey, I appreciate your help. The though. reason that I'm yeah, we'll head up there. So, so second floor or third floor? I would say go to the second floor, and I don't know, Michael, do you have somebody you can have have meet them with the information they need? So what are we accomplishing here? We're, we're filling so out a complaint. She want, they want two complaint forms. Two complaint forms. And they want a public records request, whatever document they need to file. To, and just a form too, where we can take it home and we can bring sure. it back. Hard copies. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You can write. So it. second, second floor. Yeah. If you just go right to the front counter, we'll have that information. Gotcha. And second floor here, I guess that's the main level, right? The lobby. That's the main level. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. You consider this the first floor. Gotcha. All right. Sorry appreciate your help. Take See care, you guys. You want help? You want to be led there? So here's what I'd like to do, Michael, and. Um, I'd like to start fresh. I'd like to allow you the opportunity to apologize for those accusations. If you're willing to apologize for the way you treated me, I will not file a complaint for them. We can move on. We can, I won't say shake hands. I know you're injured right there. We can you know, do that or just say, be on our way. Um, it's getting hot. I'm sweating a lot. You can see that. I just want to be on my way, honestly. However, if you feel there was no wrongdoing and you're not willing to acknowledge that, then we do have to go to take it to that level and file a complaint and, you know, how do you say, expose this through our multiple social media outlets. News outlets. I think if you want to file a complaint, I can help facilitate. Do you not want to apologize? I think if you want to file a complaint, we can help facilitate. All right, guys. So we're going to take that as a no. It takes uh, anyone can uh, be rude to someone, can yell at someone, try to attack someone. I'm not saying he did that, guys. Um, I'm just saying it's easy to do that. However, it takes a big man to acknowledge when you're wrong or you made a mistake. And Michael here is not willing to at least minimum. Hey, you know what, man? I I lost my cool. I, I apologize. Well, let's move on. It's easy. He'd rather me file a complaint, take it up with, you know, wherever their corporate or district office is, expose him on multiple social media platforms, than simply say, you know what, sir? Hey, let's start fresh. But it is what it is. I can't force him, guys. You know, hopefully uh, once he starts seeing the emails coming through, the phone calls, um, other agencies picking up the story, because um, trust me, guys, you've seen how it is, you know. In one week, it can be three or four agencies. 
you know, 100,000 people watching it. You know, by the end of the month, it can be 200,000. And we've seen some of these stories get over a million views. Um, so it is what it is, you know. Again, one last opportunity, one last chance, and I'll be on my way. So would you like to apologize? That's a no. Do you want a complaint form? Yeah, we'll head, we'll head up there when we're ready. Do file a public record? Yeah, we'll head up there when we're ready. Do you want me to help facilitate that, or are you going to want to do that on your own? Um, I'll speak with the reception up there, and she can call you if she doesn't know how to do it. Doesn't know. You have it. They put another well, piece you of want paper to have, there. You want to grab the sheets, the hard copy sheets for two complaint forms. Lena, two record requests. Hey, McKenna, publications assistant. I will be filing a complaint on her. And Michael. Okay, so that lady who came out earlier was Dr. Harris, Melanie, Melanie Harris. Here's her picture, you can see it right there. Let's see what kind of paper she has here. Looks like enrollment, demographics, stuff like that. Banks. Hmm. Just a they now put paper on both sides. Yeah, I saw that. I just go to the bathroom. It's lunchtime. Hello. Hello. Can I, Can I get your name, please? No. Can I see your name tag? Can I have your name tag? Can I help you? Isn't that name tag so you could show it to the public? To identify yourself? She's covering her name tag, folks. So. Can I assist you with something? Oh, yeah. Just getting your name tag. Kimberly Watts. Oh, this is the HR. This is Kim. Yeah, we were looking for you earlier, but I think he's already got it now. Yeah, Thank we you. Got it. We got the, I'm going to leave those there. I just took a picture. I'm going to print it up later on. Yeah. Were, were you out on lunch or something? Or? I was new. I was conducting a training. Oh, gotcha. okay. Excellent. So for uh, that'll be for the complaint form. And then just to clarify what he was saying, 
Um, so for public records, even though you're HR, like if I wanted to get some public information on one of the staff members here regarding salary, for example, the date of hire under salary transparency, which is an you know, all public record in California, um, should I do it like he was suggesting through the email or is that something I can give to you or? Absolutely. Public records request would go as an email to Michael. Gotcha. So. And then on the complaint form, I didn't have a chance to read everything step by step. Um, when I, I'm finished with that complaint form, does that get, I can obviously I can bring it back here, get it uh, stamped or whatever, signed so I can get a copy of it. Um, can I also email it if I choose to? You can. Gotcha. And if I choose to email the complaint, who would I email the complaint to? For if it's regarding an employee, you can email it to myself, Kim okay. Watts. Do you have a business card with your email? Um, or is I it on that forum? It's not on our policy. We're on the website, so all of our contact information is there. My email, phone number, all gotcha. of that. Gotcha. And what's your, what's the website here for this one? Husd.us. Dot us. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my because my concern is I just want to make sure that someone's not in, like if we file a complaint or that they're not, how do you say, reviewing the complaint themselves to investigate themselves Correct. on there. And then, um, at being an HR, is it, would you consider it inappropriate for members of staff here to randomly come out and give members of the public the bird while touring the building? Is that, is, is, that, is that a policy, I mean? Is that, give them, I'm sorry. Would that be frowned upon if like a member of the, that works here, a staff member, were to come out kind of a little bit irate um, you know, kind of not yelling, but kind of speaking very loudly towards members of the public who are calmly reporting like us. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to do it to you that no disrespect, but like giving, sure. a, giving us the bird multiple times, like, I see what you're like this, okay. which was from downstairs. I mean, we have her name. I just want to know, as far as, you know, being an HR, what would, is that considered acceptable behavior, I guess is my question. I think we always want to be receptive and responsive to any inquiries or folks that we have that come in. Um, I would understand, though, if employees felt like there was a safety issue or something like that, and they may have responded Absolutely. that way, right? Let me ask you this, though. So, being, let's say they're what? Let's say in so being mind, vulgar makes things let, safer? Let me see. Let or me does that escalate a up. situation? Humor me for a second, though. Let's just say in their mind they felt there was a safety issue. Would you think it would be appropriate for them to approach this thing or maybe lock the door and just stay in there and maybe call you or call security or call the police? I think that would probably be the most appropriate way. I, she, I don't know. I mean, I, I can send parts of the video, or you guys can look on your camera, which there was a camera probably 10 feet away up in the ceiling. Um, I, I really don't think she was scared for her safety. It was more like she was upset that we were there. And then my, my second question is, let's say, I, I get it that people have work to do here. You know, they don't want to you know, be disturbed. You know, they're on deadlines, you know, time frames. Let's say a member of the public wants to go get, for example, a business card from this person right here. These business cards, just to confirm and clarify for the record, these are for members of the public to give out to people or citizens who request their information. That's why they're on the desk, I would imagine. Typically, yes. Yes. I mean, they weren't like locked up in a drawer. That's why they're printed up. That's why tax, I would imagine she's not paying it out of her own pocket. I would imagine the city or the county or the you know state is paying for these business cards. So my question is, would you consider it appropriate behavior if someone was sitting in, say, one of these chairs right here, they went to got a business card, grabbed the candy on the desk that was right next to the business card since they're all around the you know the building. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming for people to grab. That's why they're out there. Um, would you say it's appropriate then after I got after someone got the business card, was peacefully sitting down, minding his own business, for them to come up, get within two feet of their face, and say, rather than saying, "Hey, sir, do you need any more help?" or "Hey, just to let you know for future, if you need some help or a business card, hey, we're here to help." Would you say it's appropriate? For them to come up, get rid of my face, say, don't go in their office. You can't go in there. And then second of all, when I try to ask that person, which happens to be a public information officer, when I ask that person. There's Melanie. When I ask that person, the public They want to identify officer, herself. Michael, if these business cards are for members of the public, just like you answered me very cordially and respectfully. Well, I guess she gets it from the His response to me here. was, Kim do you wants. not have anything better to do with your life? Wouldn't you say that that's a little inappropriate to say to a member of the public i mean he doesn't know what's going on in my life just like i don't know what's going on in your life mm -hmm. going there and that's not very professional especially that his only role here is public information so when i ask him if these business cards are for members of the public and for him to make a comment like that that's why i'm filling out these complaints and just to let you know as a human resources and i hope you do the right thing and keep the, keep a note of this i gave him the opportunity on camera to just simply let's squash it let's just shake hands well, i know it's hard to shake hands but let's you know squash it, just apologize, you know, and we can move on. And I won't file a complaint. He doesn't want to do it. That's how stubborn he is. But he's a public information officer. 
is probably not the best position for him. He should probably be in the back room printing out the flyers, maybe in the mail room sorting out mail, but he should not be interacting with members of the public. So I just wanted to, you know, would you say that that's appropriate though? As described, yeah, as described without additional context, you know, as described by you, right? I think, again, we want to be responsive and respective to folks coming in. I don't know the context at which folks may have felt in instances. I certainly well, I get it. You have, there's always yeah. two sides of every yeah. coin. Yeah, and I certainly could see if you have a concern and you wanted us to know about that so that we could address that directly. And so basically, so just to clarify again, so I went into the office down there. The door was open. It wasn't mm -hmm. closed. She wasn't on the phone with anyone. She wasn't having a meeting with anyone. It was just open. Mm -hmm. Her business cards were there. There was some candy. I didn't grab the candy, but I grabbed the business card. And she started asking me what you're doing. I'm like, oh, I'm just grabbing a business card. I thought it was I know it's like for members of the public. She got a little upset. She went and found Michael. By that time, I just came and sat down. So I'm like, why am I going to sit? There's no reason to be out there. She doesn't want to help me. And he just comes up to me and basically gets, you know, this is him. He comes up to me. You can't be in the office. And then when I tried to ask him a second time going down the hallway, are these not for members of the public? Because I want to clarify. He's saying I can't be in there. Well, what, what are these for? That's when he made that comment to me. That says, hey, do you not have anything better to do with your life? That's very unprofessional. If I were to say that to someone, I mean, at a job at a place of work that's paying my salary, saying that to my boss, I'd be fired. Minimum, I'd be reprimanded. I'd probably get suspended or minimum, like a verbal, get some type of documentation. You know, so I guess it, another question then, since it seems like we're going in circles on this one, being a HR, mm -hmm. do you guys have any de-escalation training? Is it, is it required in any book or staff members? Oh wow, it feels nice in here. Is this the only room with AC? I don't know. Everywhere else seems kind of oh kind of warm. Oh, so here's where the this school district board members meet. I'm assuming. Seven chairs. I thought there was only six. Must be seven. All right, everybody, you saw and heard what your senses were able to. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Angry Vet Audits. Out of here, baby.